Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited to show you the Winnebago Travato. So the Travato is for the road warrior that wants to put some miles on it, see the country, also do some city driving with all the creature comforts of their home. So this is a perfect coach for you. Today I'm going to show you the 59K floor plan. It also comes in the 59G floor plan, and then both the K and the G have a GL and a KL, which include the Pure 3 energy management system. I get asked all the time the size of the Travato. So the length is 21 feet, the width is 6 feet 9 inches, and the height, exterior height, is 9 feet 4 inches. Isn't this a beautiful exterior color? This is the Patriot Blue, and you have five exterior paint options on the Travato. All right, so we have our radio antenna, five bright marker lights, great headlights, and lots of really nice lights in the back of the coach as well. You're gonna be able to see this coming and going with no problem. Notice how high the headlights sit up on the Travato. This is gonna give you increased visibility at night. The Travato sits on the Ram ProMaster chassis with the Chrysler V6 3.6 liter gas engine, and it has 280 horsepower. All right, let's go over what's under the hood here. So here is our power steering fluid, our windshield wiper fluid fill, and you can see the reservoir in the back there. Then down below we have our oil fill and our oil dipstick. Now you should probably change your oil every 5,000 miles on this gas engine. Then we have our air intake and our air filter. We have our engine coolant brake fluid, and our fuse panel. We have the heated and internally controlled mirrors. We also are gonna see our turn signal light in here, and you manually adjust this part of the mirror. You can also bring these mirrors in to protect them when you're in a parking space. Winnebago's given us the upgraded running board. They're very sturdy. One of the things that I love that they do on the running boards is they give you this little metal loop right here. So you're probably wondering that what that is for. That's for your pets. So you can go ahead and connect a rover there and let them roam about outside. Or say if you've got mountain bikes or some gear that you wanna protect, you can uh, attach that and lock it to that little metal ring there. Let me show you how easy it is to operate the Power Carefree Awning. So right inside the door, there's the button for the awning, and you're just gonna go ahead and hit the out button once. Now, if for some reason you don't wanna go with the full extension, you can just hit the button at any time and stop it. And then if you wanna continue going all the way out. So let's imagine that it's nighttime and we're in a beautiful campground and not inside the building at National Indoor RV Centers and you want to kind of create the mood. So I want to go ahead and turn on my LED lights on my awning. And I'm going to turn on my lights that are underneath my running boards. And if I want even more light, I can turn on my patio light. The awning also has a seismic sensor, so if it detects more of a uh, more than a five inch up or down motion, it's going to retract. So I'm just going to demonstrate that for you. Okay. <laughs> we have the two exterior speakers, and then we've got our solar connection here. So this is for a portable solar panel. Now you've got two 115 watt solar panels on your roof. And so that's 230 watts of solar power. You, it, can, can, it can handle up to 475 watts of solar panel. So it's kind of nice to have a portable one, especially if you're parked um, in the shade and you still want to get some of that solar power. You can plug in here, walk your portable solar panel out to the sunshine. Then we've got our 12 volt receptacle and cable output. So if we want to watch TV outside, we can hook it up right here. Then we have the two 110 outlets. All right, here on the back we have the optional bike rack. So this is really nice. Like I said, it's optional, so if you don't want it or if you're not using it, you can just unscrew here and here 
and there and there and take it right off. But this is really cool if you're ready to um, hit the mountain trails, just bring it down, then you've got some trays here that will slide out so that it will fit your bikes. This will hold up to 100 pounds in bikes. Once you get your bikes settled, then you wanna lock them in over the crossbar with this and this. Winnebago gives us a really nice ladder. This will support up to 225 pounds, and thank goodness I, 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 I qualify. <laughs> Hopefully I always will. It's a locking ladder, which is really nice because if you wanna lock gear to this, you're gonna lock the ladder and then you can connect whatever you want to the ladder as well. Again, it will support 225 pounds, so you can't put more gear on it than it, will, it can hold. I'm gonna go ahead. I want to access the roof from this side. I can do it from right here, but I'll show you why I like to do it from this side. So you just take it off. It's really easy. You've got little bumpers so that you don't ruin your paint. So you just hook it on to the metal cargo rack. That's gonna support up to 200 pounds. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's on the roof. So when you put the ladder to the side of the coach, it's really easy to come up here and you can easily wash off your solar panels to keep them working more efficiently. Now we've got our over the air antenna here. We've got our satellite radio antenna here and our max air vent or air fan here. Way in the back, we've got our big solar panel and then we've got exhaust vents for our gray and black tanks. So on this side of the AC unit, you'll see kind of a square box. That's the controller for the solar panel and you can plug in there. There's a spot where you can plug in if you wanna add an additional solar panel to the roof. So here on the driver's side of the coach, we have our black tank flush. So we can just hook a garden hose up to this. Now that's not gonna like wash out your black tank. It's gonna put water in there and help force everything through, um, which is good to have. Then below here is our sewer dump connection. And we have our exhaust pipe for our 2800 watt generator. This is our Truma exhaust here. And then we've got our tank fill and our city water fill for our 25 gallon fresh water tank. We have the spot for our stinky slinky or sewer hose, keeping everything nice and clean. Our engine exhaust and our fresh water drain. And it gives you a little diagram for open and closed. Here's where we, we, here's where we connect our 30 amp shore power cord. And when we have power, that little half moon will light up. And this is our cable input from the park. Just below here is our six gallon LP tank. One of the things I like about this is that we have an on and off valve here, very easy to read outside, and we also have one inside the coach. And here's where we fill our 24 gallon fuel tank. And we have our running boards for the driver to get in. And again, we have the pet leash hooks or cargo lock on both sides of the running board. Now for my favorite part, let's go inside and I'll show you the beautiful interior. So as I walk into the coach, a couple things that I wanna point out. First of all, we've got this grab bar here for safety, going in or out of the coach. Winnebago's packed a lot of safety items into the coach. And another safety item, we've got our fire extinguisher right here. This is for our ground lights or under our running board lights. So another safety feature. Right here is our battery disconnect. So if we're not lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National Indoor RV Centers, where we always keep you plugged into 30 amp service, when you go to store your coach, you'll definitely wanna turn off your battery so that you don't have any parasitic draw. Then we've got our two 110 outlets, our awning out and in button, and then our awning lights on and off. And then if you just look right over here, we've got two more 110 outlets and USB charging port. And then as we go up this cupboard here, we've got a nice little place to store some miscell miscellaneous items. And then I'll show you what this does in just a minute. So I step inside, I'm just gonna pull the little lever here. 
shut the door behind me. Let's talk about this window. So we have the option for the dual paned acrylic windows. This is the standard window that comes with it. What's nice is that you can open the window completely, keep the screen on it, shut it, and then we've got the blackout shades. So we have complete privacy. Then right here, as I step into my little living room area here, now this can be double as a workstation. So you just pull up there and there's a great desk to work at, to eat at, just really nice. Or you can have it down and it's just a nice little place to put your drink. We've got the captain's chair here that we've turned them both around. You can see we have quite a bit of room. Now here below, this is kind of cool because this is in floor um, locking storage. So we have a nice little storage place. I have a feeling I know what my Texans are gonna put in here and lock up. Um, but that's nice to have that so that's secure. So here in the captain's chairs, there's a few things I wanna show you. First of all, this can be for the kitchen prep area when you're cooking, or you could use this for laptop, office space so it kind of has dual purpose which i like now right here i've got the switch for this led light so i've got it on high right now center i turn it off and then i can turn it on to low so in the evening i don't want that bright light i'm glad that i have the option to kind of dim it a little bit and then right next to that i've got two usb ports and two 110 outlets so before we move into the kitchen, I just want to point out that they've given us this over the cab storage, which is nice and deep. I've got a floor mat that will go in the cab area up here. I've got my driver and passenger shade, blackout shades here. And then we've got our smoke detector, nice vinyl ceiling. So it gives us that extra luxury. And then we've got the LED lighting throughout. And we've got the Max Air Vent. So this is the same upgraded air vent that you'll see in Class A um, coaches. We have an on and off button and we have a temperature setting. So I'm gonna turn this on, we'll go on. Once it's on, I hit the temperature setting and it will automatically open or close to keep this um, below 78 degrees. That's the threshold that they've set it at. Now there's also a remote for this so I can change that threshold too. If I want it to be higher or lower, I can change it. So let me just demonstrate how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Then you'll see the button here that says hold to set 78 degrees. Once I turn this on, that will activate that to work automatically. And it's gonna go ahead and shut because we're well below 78 degrees but now the button is on and it will automatically work for me. I want you to make sure you, you notice the beautiful cabinets throughout this coach. They have kind of a European feel. Well, there's a reason for that. They come from Italy. So these are what is used in the yacht industry in the Mediterranean and they're lightweight. That's one of the reasons that Winnebago researched these, went and found them. They're Technoform cabinets and they're lightweight, durable and water resistant. So they're really nice. And then you get lots of nice space here in your kitchen. Then you're probably wondering what this is right here. So this is a heat shield to protect our cabinets from the stove. So we've got our two burner gas stove here with cover. So if we're cooking here and it gets a little hot, this is gonna protect our beautiful cabinetry. Now underneath the cabinets, we've got our push button LED lights. And then over here, we've got our nice big sink. So we've got a cover here for the sink. Inside the sink, we've got the cutting board. And then we even have a lid. So I think that's kind of nice. If I want to do my dishes outside, I could fill it up in here, go outside and cover my water. And they've given us a little drying rack. So I like what they've done there. And then we have a big stainless steel sink with a nice residential faucet and residential countertop. This is a Corian countertop, so very high end. Then we have our convection microwave oven. So again, I have customers that bake bread in these, so don't be afraid to try your convection microwave oven. You really can do baked goods, 
chicken, whatever. Um, lots of fun things you can do. And then we have nice big drawer. Look how big that drawer is. Full extension here. And then all the drawers and cabinets have the locking mechanism on there, which is nice. Something you always want to check before you go to leave. Now, just a little plug, I also do an RVing 101 video where I pack and prep for a trip. So you can see all the things that I do getting ready to leave, and one of them would definitely be locking the cabinets and the refrigerator freezer. So this is our 4.3 cubic um, foot refrigerator freezer. Now this is a compression refrigerator, so you don't have to be level for it to work fabulously. It's always gonna be cold. And we have a freezer here. And look what they've given us. Who remembers these? Make your own ice cubes? <laughs> it's been a long time since we've had to do that, right? But it's nice that you can have ice when you're out on the road. So this works much better than a three-way absorption refrigerator where you've got to be totally level for it to cool um, nicely. This is going to keep everything nice and cold and frozen. And we've got the lock on the front. And then just to the side of the sink, we have our two 110 outlets. So your coffee pot, your blender, your mixer, you can use those right there. So right here, we have the entertainment center basically for the coach. This is gonna be your DVD player, your AM, FM radio. Uh, you, this will connect to your TV. You've got your aux input, your HDMI input, USB here. So that's gonna control all that. And you also have your remote. So you'll have two zones. A and C, one for inside and one for your speakers outside. Now inside the cabinet, we have two 110 outlets, an H, another HDMI input, and your cable connect or satellite connect here. Then we've got our TV, and then we've got our TV that we just pull on this cord here, and we can release that so that if we wanna sit in our captain's and co-captain's chairs and watch TV, or if we wanna lay in bed or across, you can direct that wherever it works best for you. Along with our entertainment center, we have two speakers, so here and here. And then let's just talk about storage. I'm gonna open that up so you can see how much storage you have, quite a bit of storage. And then inside this cabinet, we have access to this cabinet, and we have two 110 outlets, HDMI and cable. And we've got the RAM mounts here. So you can order those accessories that can hold your iPad, your cell phone, whatever you need. There's lots of options, so you can go check those out. Then we've got our anything keeper. So that just pulls down. And I love they give you a little rubber mat there. So keep anything from um, rattling as you're going down the road. So that's nice. And then we've got our night light here, our reading light. Now this is pretty cool because if I just hit the button one time, I have just the soft little blue light, so I'm not gonna keep the whole, everyone up in the coach. But if I really wanna see, I just hold it longer and I get the full light here, so that's nice. And while we're in this corner, let's go ahead and talk about our one place from Winnebago. They kind of put everything in one place, so it makes it really easy for the user. So this is our solar panel controller. So we've got two 115 watt solar panels up top, and this will take up to, you can add more solar, up to 475. Then here we've got the holding tank heater, turn off a non button here. So you've got heating pads on your uh, gray water tank and your black water tank. Then we've got the LP shut off. I like that here because how many times have you laid in bed going, did I shut the LP valve? Yes, you did, because you can double check it right there and turn it off. This is your thermistor, so that's just gonna help um, give the reading of the temperature of the coach to the thermostat. Then we've got our inverter control. So we have a 1000 watt inverter on this coach. And if once you're in the coach, if you're not using any of your 110 outlets um, or your TV, then you wanna go ahead and probably just turn that off so you're not draining um, or taking any extra use of your batteries. Then we've got our Truma system. So Truma is a really efficiently designed system. It's small, it's your furnace, and it's your hot water. So, and you can, you can use gas or electric, or you can combine the two of them. So I'm just gonna kind of go through this. So this is your um, furnace for the coach. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. 
and I want to turn it on. So I'm just going to, you'll see the little flame comes on. So now it's on. Then we have our water heater. And if I go over here, we're going to decide if we want to use gas or a gas and electric mix. So one heating element here or two heating elements. So if you use the gas and electric mix, you are going to heat up your water much faster. You're going to use your gas first and then you'll use the electric to maintain that heat. Then we're just going to go over to our fan here and you have eco or high. So basically low or high on your fan. Go back and I'm going to go back and turn off my furnace. So it's quite simple. Then we've got our light switch here for our cabin area. And our one place, this is where we can start and stop our generator. We do have a 2800 watt gas generator. We can turn the water pump on here. This is going to give us our uh, tank level readings. For our freshwater tank, which is a 25 gallon tank, our LP gas, our gray waste, and our black waste. These are both 13 gallon. And then we've got our battery level. So it's going to give us the reading for our chassis batteries and our house batteries. And the power control center, that's basically your traffic cop for your electronic system. So it's not going to let you overload the system. If you do, it's going to start to shut the load or shut things off to protect itself. And then just below that, we have two more USB charging ports. So I want you to see what we have on the driver's side of the coach. Again, a lot more storage which is great, and then kind of a repeat of what we just saw on the other side. So we've got our other speaker, our RAM mount, anything keeper, reading lights, again, once for blue, hold it down for the main light, and two USB charging ports. All right, so I have lots to talk about here. In the 59K Travato floor plan, that's what we're in right now, I'm showing it here with our two twin beds, basically. Now, also, I want to note that, that we've got two seat belts here as well. And then a couple of cool features. I don't even know where to start on these beds because there's so much to show. So one of the things I really love is if you lift up this back cushion, we've got a little cargo net to store some goodies back here. And then we've got our little headrest. So you can pull that up and you just stop it wherever you want when you bring it all the way up and then back down. It just goes down like that. So I want to show you how nice that works. There you go. So we have the Coleman Mach 10 NPQ AC unit. So this is a more efficient and quieter unit. So again, uh, Winnebago likes to say whisper quiet. It's much quieter than the old, un old unit. And then you've got these um, direct dump vents so you can really force the air down quickly if you want to try to cool the coach faster great unit. So if you are going to use the seat belts on the driver's side, you're going to want to use this bolster as your backrest. So let's take a minute and just talk about this bolster and about Winnebago. So Winnebago is one of those companies that manufactures more of their parts than I think any other uh, RV manufacturer out there. I went to their stitch craft department and saw these being made. So ladies sitting there at sewing machines, pretty cool. So something that's super important. Winnebago labels all these things. So a lot of times we have the tendency we want to rip that off. Well, that is a label that in five years is say I spill spaghetti sauce on my bolster or my dog chews the corner and I need a new one. All I have to do is call Winnebago, give them this number. They're going to have the fabric. They're going to be able to make this for me. So that's great peace of mind when you buy from Winnebago. So have you heard of inner spring mattresses? Well, I like to call this your outer spring mattress. <laughs> so this is the Frilly system designed by Winnebago. So this is going to add to the comfort when you're sleeping, and it's going to also keep the mattress up off the uh, wood platform. So in humid conditions, it's gonna keep it from getting moldy or anything like that. So it's a really cool system. And underneath the Frilly system here, we have storage. Gotta love that. So that just lifts right up. Not only do we have lots of storage here underneath the bed, we have a place to store the legs for our table. And then this 
This is the leg that helps make the full bed all the way across, and I'll show you how that works. Now this doubles as the tabletop for our table and for the base for the full bed. So I'll show you how that works. Clips in here nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and set it on the bed over here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my first support here. So it just goes in a little slot here, lays right there. Then the other two supports just come right out, put them across, and one more. So we've got three supports. Then I'm gonna go ahead, and you'll see the notch there at that end. It's gonna fit right over that first support. So I'm just gonna put this down and have it fit into that slot. That's gonna keep it from sliding or moving when you're sleeping. And then I'm gonna push that towards the driver's side. Then this is going to come down and fill that space right there. So now you've got the support for your bed. So this by itself is gonna be an 80 inch bed. Here, we've got a 74 inch bed. So we're just gonna kind of force these cushions down there to make a nice, tight, snug fit. There we go. Okay, so now we've got a 76 by 54 inch full size bed. So now I'm gonna take the beds apart and make it into a table eating area, and I'll show you how easy that is. Okay, so I've got my leg supports put away for the bed. I'm gonna go ahead and take out my table legs and put those in place. Love that we have a place to store those, that they don't go to the bottom of the storage area that I can't get to. It's right on top, it's just very convenient. Let me go ahead and put that down. And then I just line up my table here. And there you go. All right, let's talk about some of the things down here on this side of the coach. So right behind this door is the access panel for plumbing. If you know you needed to get in there for some reason, that is how you would access that. And it just snaps back on. Then we have the vents for the furnace, second vent for the furnace. And then we've got the subwoofer for our stereo. There's the intake. And over here, we've got the fuse panel for the house. Safety alert for the LP. Our breaker box. All right, so now to the bathroom. First of all, I love having the bathroom off the back of the coach. A couple of th reasons. First of all, you don't have to go all the way through the coach to get to the bathroom, but if you're coming in from, you know, doing some ATV and you're super dirty, you can clean up up here and never step into the coach um, until you're all clean. So I like that. So let's just go over some of the features of the bathroom. First of all, we've got the Techno uh, cabinets again. Nice deep cabinet with a hanging rod here. And I've got a shower curtain that I can put up. I'll show you how that works in just a little bit. I also have some privacy covers for my uh, exterior doors. So I'll show you those as well, but they just magnet on, so super easy. Then I've got three full extension drawers, nice and deep. Then we've got our shower head. I love that it's a handheld and you can turn it on and off at the shower head so you can, you know, la get wet, lather up, turn it off, do your military shower. You've got your hot and cold controller here. Love this. How many class B's do you get a medicine cabinet in? Ah, so cool. Love the medicine cabinet. And magically behind this panel, we have our sink. How cool is that? So just turn the faucet in, hot and cold, super easy. And you've got a drain down in there. When you're done, just close it back up. We have our toilet with the push pedal control. And then we've got our little shower hose here that we can help rinse out the toilet with. 
even take a little exterior shower if you want. And we have the bamboo shower mat with the drain just below so we don't have to stand in standing water. And we've got the light for the bathroom right here. And we have a power fan for the bathroom. So that's really nice for ventilation. So this is how the privacy covers work on the back doors. They just magnet on, so it's super easy. And right inside the cabinet here, I've got our shower curtain that I can just snap in and I'll show you how easy that's done. So here you can see the Travato with the back doors wide open. Lots of things to show you here. Let's just start on the doors. So right here we've got our toilet paper holder for when we're in the bathroom. We've got a towel bar. How nice is that? A true towel bar in the Class B. Gotta love that. And then if we go over here, let's talk about what we have here. So this is our spray port. So we're just gonna do our quick connect with our shower hose right here. Just plug that in. And then we've got a nice strong um, sprayer to use. And we can use, uh, that's for our light on the driver's side of the coach and then our water pump. Turn it on and off right here. And here's our utility light in the back. We have our 12 volt receptacle and two 110. And then this space here, let me just go through what I've got in here. And of course you can carry whatever you want to, but I'm gonna put my 30 amp cord in here. 30 amp shore power cord in here. This is the tool repair kit, jack and all those good things that you need. I do love that they've given you this little compartment here and it's aligned so you can put something that was wet in there if you needed to. We've got our sewer hose in here, our shower that I just showed you, and then this is a little tire pump kit that Winnebago provides. So then let's talk about our screen. We have a nice screen that opens and closes with a nice heavy duty zipper and it just snaps right in all the way across the top. So you can move this if you wanna have an open air shower or open air bathroom with no bugs. This is it folks. Our hitch is rated for 3,500 pounds and we've got our connect our four way for our tow lights. And then over here to the side, we've got our quick connect for our gas grill. I really like that that comes off the back of the coach because I can grill behind the coach if there's a strong wind, or I can move it to the side of the coach and cook where we're all having dinner, but I have some options. So I like where they place that. All right, let's cover everything up here in the front cabin. So the chairs and our dash. So I'm just gonna go to the door here. We've got a, a lock button there, and then we've got our window controls and our mirror controls so we can rem um, control them remotely and then we can bring them in. If we're in a tight parking spot, we wanna bring those in to protect them. Then we've got a drink holder on the door and then let's talk about what we have on the seat here. All right, here to the side of my chair, I've got my emergency brake. And you're just gonna push that in, pull it down to take that off. So the corner here, you pull forward and that's gonna bring your the seat back forward or back. The front dial here of the seat, you use that to raise or lower the seat. And then the one to the back is for the rear portion of the seat to raise or lower. And then if you just reach up a little bit higher, you've got your lumbar support. Then to bring the seat forward or back, simply lift the lever. Here, the corner control, if you pull that forward, is gonna give you the ability to turn your captain's chair around. And you've got really simple armrest controls. So there's a little lever down here that you just turn so you can raise it. Or if I want it to go down, I can just roll that with my fingers and adjust it till it's the right height. And right here hidden in the dash is the release for the hood. So, all right, here's our battery boost button. If you come back to your coach and you're having a hard time starting your engine, you're gonna push the battery boost button to kind of combine your house batteries with your chassis batter batteries to give you enough of a boost to start your engine. Mode is gonna allow you to customize the menu up here. So the speed beep, buzzer volume, exit, or you can exit the menu. Here's the control level for your lights. So we have them off. We can turn them on. If we wanna put our brights on, we would just hit it one time 
if we want to turn the brights if we just want to flash the brights we leave it down there and then we've got our control our signal signal up and down here's our cruise control lever so we're just going to hit it once to turn it on and then we will get up to speed up to set it down to resume and in to cancel all right so here on the steering column we have some things that will help us be hands-free so first of all we can mute the radio right here we can adjust the volume of the radio and this is for uh, voice commands to communicate with the dash or nav system here we can make a phone call adjust the volume of that phone call and hang up on the phone call here we have our windshield wiper control so we have mist low medium high and then if we pull it forward we will get the windshield wiper fluid and if we want to reset our trip we just hold the button in we have our aux cord input so if you want to listen to music off your phone through the aux you would do it right there you've got your usb input input now this is a uh, something that's special on this coach so if i put my usb in here and connect it to my phone i can update my tom tom through this usb port all right one more thing with the steering column there's a lever down here pull that forward and it does telescope forward and back and then you just pull it push it down to lock it into place here we have our gear shift so park reverse neutral drive and we have a tow haul mode which basically when we put it in tow haul mode that will give us increased tor torque when we're towing okay so then we've got our radio volume so our power on and off and our volume we can turn the screen on and off from right here our mute on and off from right here then we can go to our settings and we can customize our display go back voice response, show command list. So you can totally customize that. Back. Set your clock and date, safety assistance, camera with rear, camera delay. So you can customize your screen with this setting right here just by scrolling through and then pushing the button when you wanna make a change. Then here's your radio button media button nav system which goes straight to your tom tom pair your phone so that you can make a hands-free phone call and then more outside temperature clock rear camera so we'll just rear camera we'll get a view of the rear camera clock compass and trip information, current trip, trip A, trip B. So super easy to navigate through that. Then we're gonna have our fan control, AC and heat, direct where we want that AC and heat, and push for defrost. We've got our fog lights, our electronic stability control, hazards, and this would be the lock. USB port, and 12 volt cup holder here we can put three drinks here and a little space for where I would probably slide my cell phone so we've got our map lights for the driver the passenger and then we can determine if we want the lights to come on if we need them both on if we leave it like this the lights will come on when the doors are open if we turn it off the lights won't come on when the doors open one of the things that I love about the Travato is that they could not have made the front blackout screen any easier to put up. So all you do, it's right here. You just push it up here. It's gonna lock into this little piece right here. So you push this button and it is going to, you need to press this button here and it will slide on and then lock in place. So now that's set, do the same thing on the passenger side. I'm going to press the button slide in lock in place all right we're almost done voila simple as that then for your uh, driver for your driver and passenger doors you just pull this out this is like one of those sunshades you just 
opens up. And again, I'm gonna put the white side on the outside. So you just take this, push it up against the window here, and there's little clips that it just sits in behind to hold it in place. There you go. So one of the things that we highly recommend at National Indoor RV Center is that you come and take the coach that you're looking for for a test drive. So I'm ready to head out here in the Travato. So come along with me for a ride, but does, that doesn't mean that you don't have to come and do one for yourself with us at one of our locations. All right, so we're out on the road in the Travato. It's driving really nicely. Now remember, this is on the Ram Promaster chassis uh, with the Chrysler Pentastar V6 engine with 280 horsepower, so it has a lot of pickup. So I'm going 66, it's nice and quiet. One of the things that Winnebago added to the Travada is sumo, sumo springs on the front and the back. So that's gonna give it more cargo carrying capacity and it's just gonna handle nicer, ride nicer, um, something that they added to it to just make your whole driving experience better. One of the things I like to do when I'm driving a, an RV is to use the cruise control. It just makes it that much easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and I'm up to 65 miles per hour. I'm gonna hit the lever up and set the cruise control. So it's that easy. One of the things I love about RVing is that your trip starts as soon as you get behind the wheel. Um, you've got this great windshield in front of you. You can see this beautiful country and your whole family's with you or your friends. Um, so you're all together and enjoying this beautiful country. As I'm driving along, I always like to, you know, talk about how quiet this is. So super quiet, went ahead and ran my decibel reader and we're at 66.3, which is like driving on quiet street. So I'm not raising my voice at all to talk. Uh, very quiet, enjoyable ride. Another nice feature in the Travato is that we've got navigation. So I just have to hit the nav button and it takes me right to the TomTom Tom navigation screen. We also have Bluetooth here to the steering column so I can connect my phone and make my phone calls right here. My hands don't need to leave the steering column, which I love, great safety feature. So Winnebago wants you to be safe. So in the Travato, we get six airbags. That's right, six airbags. So steering column, glove compartment, column here to my left and column to my right, and in the seats, captain and co-captain. So I have a lot of customers that are a little bit nervous about driving an RV, even a Class B. I want you to know that this is no harder to drive than my Toyota Sequoia. Literally, I've got these great big mirrors that are very clear. You'll get used to not having your rear view mirror just because that's kind of the rear view contents of the coach that you'll see there. But you're gonna be very, very comfortable. This is easy to drive. Come give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed my walkthrough of Winnebago's Travato. 59k. Now I know this is a great coach with tons of creature comforts and you can go out and adventure in it. So I'm sure you're wondering what this would cost you. So MSRP is 126 445 and map pricing, which is the minimum advertised price, is 94 833. So if you want to find out what I can sell you it for, give me a call 469 277 1120 or you can email me at Angie at nirvc.com or just go to our website, nirvc.com and you can see this coach or hundreds of other coaches, lots of options. We'd love to have you visit our website or visit one of our locations. Now remember, with our volume and economies of scales, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. So if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please hit the like and subscribe. Also, go check out my video series on RVing 101 right here. And are you wondering what AIM Club stands for? Check that out right here. Now, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.